everyone assalamu alaikum so here we'll take a look how to get the current user from firebase now at the top i have declared these three variables the first one is firebase auth and then the second one is for user saving the user that would be coming from firebase and the third one is listening to the any changes of the user now over here well i have this method which is called init auth now this method could be called on button press or during preloading of any file or repository it doesn't matter you can call it from wherever you want and over here i have this delay method i am delaying two seconds but in your case you might not have to do it so first we get the firebase auth instance we initialize it over here otherwise it might be null now this is here the most important part starts so we are listening for any changes for the users if user changes it means logs in logs out so this would be reactive in in a sense this variable so this object over here has a method which is called listen now it has a callback function so we pass user object to it now over here you see that we say it could be null because there there might be a user or there might not be a user okay well if there is a user then we save it to a variable which is called user.value over here now since this thing happens over here and if you have a user now that user would be available in this variable the one that we have inside this callback function okay so that's why you see that we have printed a method uh, sorry we have printed a statement over here where we say we get user id uid okay now this variable contains a lot of other information like uid email profile photo pictures things like that so if you want to get user id so all you need to do first you have to listen to auth changes and then for uh, listen to the user object the object that is being coming and going out and if there is a user just print that out so now we'll have a user over here so we can print that out so let's go ahead and restart it so if we do that and uh, well now you already see that here user id is this okay now instead of user id you can also get email if you want okay if the user has any email so let's see that okay so this is my email id okay so this is very cool awesome 